This is the view from quarantine at the Dusitani Guam Resort. It's a beautiful view. It's a pool. At night it's lit up. It looks beautiful. Especially this one right here that you're looking at. There's another one over there. And you can see some individual pools down here. Looks like infinity pools. One right there, one right there, one right there, and right here. There's also one right here in front of me. It's just an infinity pool on top of the roof. And of course, there's one next door, right there, and one around the corner. That one is owned by the Hyatt Hotel. And then you see the gorgeous beach down below. So that one over there, the hotel, is a Dusitani Beach Resort. That's the one I stayed in the last time. Now I'm at the Dusitani Resort. This one right here. This one is better. And over next to it, there's the Guam Reef Hotel, the white one immediately next to it. And the Subaki Towers. And there's the Latte Resort back there too. Okay. So this is Tumon Bay. In Guam. And now I'm looking to the south. If you go south, there are areas like Agana, Agyatna. Agana and Agyatna are two different places, by the way. There's Piti down there south. And this way is to the north. By the way, this is the Two Lovers Point. It's on top of the hill, way up there. Where the legend of the Two Lovers jumped off into the water. To their detriment, of course, because their dad, well, one of them, the female's dad, wanted her to marry to a rich gentleman. She wouldn't have it. She fell in love with a Chamorro gentleman. And Chamorro is the native Guamanians. And so they jumped to their debt, it is said. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous area. It's a beautiful day, as you can see, there's few people down there on the beach I hear pre-COVID because I wasn't around pre-COVID but I hear pre-COVID this place would be teeming with visitors mainly from Asia of course because it's nearby mainly Japan Thailand and South Korea but now because of COVID of course there's little to no tourists and that is the mighty Pacific Ocean. On one side is the Pacific Ocean, on one side of the island that is, and on the other side behind me that I can see about eight miles away is the Philippine Sea. Guam is 30 miles long by eight miles wide. Last time I was in the other resort, I was facing the side so I could see the road and half of the ocean. Now I'm facing the ocean fully. But it's really nice. It's just like a little island down there. See them gazebo made out of palm. What we call touch back in Jamaica. And you can imagine just renting one. And I'm standing here on this balcony it's about 80 degrees as you can see it's overcast sun isn't out today or at least right now the sun was out but it's not out right now because it's been obscured by the clouds so it's real cool and I don't know if you can hear the wind blowing you can see the trees dancing I'm pretty sure so it's windy and it's real nice it's a beautiful day actually 
It's an amazing day. An amazing day to do anything, especially being in the beach. Here the water is always warm. No matter what time of day or night it is, you go in the water and it's warm. So it's not like areas where the water gets cold. That's all from me today. Hope you enjoy.